Hey guys, today I'm going to be making homemade lip balm. It's very simple to make, but just like the soap making video that I made, you may not have the ingredients at your house to make it right now. So for now, just enjoy me making it from my house. Here are the steps. The ingredients needed to make homemade lip balm are coconut oil, cocoa butter, shea butter, essential oils, lip balm containers, beeswax, a glass measuring cup, and a pot full of water. I'm also going to be adding color to some of mine. So the mica powder that's the pink powder that's sitting there, that is used for coloring. And it has to be food safe if you're going to be putting it on your lips. I'm going to be making what's called a double boiler. I only fill the pot up about a quarter of the way with water. I then put the oven burner onto medium heat and wait for it to heat up. While it's heating up, I'm going to place the glass measuring cup into the pot of water and I have a double burner now. You will also need spoons to spoon out the ingredients. The first ingredient that I'm going to add is shea butter. When using a double boiler, you don't want to put ingredients into the pot. I only want to put stuff into the glass measuring cup and that will be where the ingredients heat up. Next ingredient is coconut oil. I add about a tablespoon of each item into the glass measuring cup. Next is cocoa butter. I add about a tablespoon of this as well and I let those three ingredients melt down a little bit. I then add beeswax. This is what holds it all together. I add about a half a cup, maybe three quarters of a cup of beeswax to the mixture. The next step is to melt down all of the ingredients until it's completely liquid. I'm going to speed it up now because this can take about 10 minutes. My next step is to add essential oils to make it smell good. I'm going to add grapefruit essential oils to my mixture to make it smell fruity. I'm not going to add coloring to the first one so I'm going to show you guys what it looks like without coloring. Then I just pour the mixture into the lip balm tubes. I have to be very careful during this part because you have to pour into a very small opening. I also make sure that I hold the measuring cup with a pot holder because it gets very hot and it can burn your hands.
Now I'm going to add the mica powder to the rest of the mixture so that the rest of the lip balms will be colored pink. So then I add in the mica powder and I just kind of eye it and stir it up and then I check to see if it has enough color and then I add more if I want it to be more colorful. Then I pour the pink mixture into my tubes. This is what the lip balm looks like when it's beginning to harden up. It doesn't take long at all for it to harden up completely. Then I take a paper towel and I wipe off the outside of the lip balms and I get off all excess lip balm that might have spilled while I was pouring. And here is my finished product. I have grapefruit lip balms and then one clear grapefruit lip balm. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed watching me make lip balm. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.